Hey Defenders, welcome back to our channel. Once again, we are in the web application pen testing series and challenge number nine. In this challenge number nine, we see a very interesting question. Upon clearing this question, we get five points. We use ints, again, we lose one point. Uh, and there are about 51 people who have already tried, not cleared them. There are only 11 people who have cleared this. Uh, there are 51 people who have tried it and it failed. But let's see if we can crack the code. Uh, Vinod Sandal can feel uh, them nearing the finish line. Uh, he has been given a code to decode, to be decoded. He looks at it with dismay in seeing the text translated that no one understands. How will he crack this code? And let me move the mouse pointer here. It says, this is your password. S U R J Surj. Okay. So this challenge is basically a straightforward challenge, right? And what we are going to do here is we have to understand this one, right? Let me see if this is a password. No, it is not the password, right? It is not allowing us to go to the next stage, which means it's not the password. So what is a password? But Clicking this says this is a password, but when we copy paste this, it's not working as a password. So what does it mean? It means that the password is a little different and not what is given here. So what do I do here? There's something called hacker lead. This is a quite a popular uh, language that was used earlier. See? This is how lead conversion actually happens in English. Yes, I don't know if this is going to work, but okay. I am checking for other tools as well. Okay, the idea of using multiple tools, I'll tell you before that, let me first try this. In lead hacker language, it says S U R. Okay, is that the password? No, I don't think so. There is, uh, let me again go for a few more links. Let me try this. This is not working, so let me try this. And now it's still not working. Let me say pro mode and try this. I don't think it will work. Lead. None of these are working. So what I'll do, I'll continue to try with few more translators that are available. Decode. Okay, here we have got something. Pure English translation. Let us see if this works. No. G U R J. Let's search G U R J. Wow, we were able to successfully clear it. Okay, so what is this lead translation? First, before you understand what is lead translation, I want you to understand way back in those days, right? Say a few decades ago, right? When computers were not really very secure as it is today, right? So for FTP, you have F FTPS or SFTP or HTTP, you have HTTPS. Likewise, for most of the popular protocol, you have a secure version of the same protocol, which means that it has evolved over the period of time. Likewise, when you used to chat from a person A to person B earlier, this data which goes to here can be sniffed or eavesdropped, right? So what happens? 
it is a clear text protocol so when it's clearly understandable as in what two people are chatting with each other it poses a threat that any confidential data could also be uh, compromised right so t- to keep it very simple what attackers used to do at that point in time is they would communicate in the general language english for example marina beach i want to write this in leet format i will instead write m like this m this is called the m but m looks like this right so what i do is i create a look alike of m by using the existing keyboard characters to create something which looks almost similar to m a r look at this r i okay it can be like this look at this what is this this can be m a r i n a you understand so even if a person a is communicating with the person b like this right even if an attacker tries to eavesdrop or steal the connection or do a man in the middle attack and see what kind of a clear text is getting transferred they would still not be able to understand what it really means that is why they call this as a leet speak or leet talk communication method it's not really a encryption technique but it looks like it deceives your eyes right so it looks like a plain text getting converted to a cipher text but it's actually not but that's what they do in uh, lead uh, speaking techniques right so i hope you all had something to learn from this uh, in case you did or if you think this will be of use to someone else please consider sharing and subscribe thank you thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe for more tech insights on cybersecurity